welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel? Well, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting. A lot about yarn. Mostly it's about my journey through this fantastic yarny community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me. Today I have a finished object to show you and some yarn acquisitions of the mystery bag variety. I'm really excited to show you what I got. Um, so let's start with my finished object. And I finished the pullover that I was making for my grandson, Carter. Um, this is called the Harvest Hoodie by Heart Hook Home. As you'll notice, there is no hood. Um, I think it's mainly user error, but to be honest with you, I couldn't figure out her pattern for the hood. Um, it didn't make, the way it was worded, it didn't make sense to me. So I just put like a little uh, back post, uh, yeah, edge on here to give it a little visual edge. I don't know. I'm still not convinced that the neck is finished. I might go around with a, another single crochet one more time. I used uh, Karen um, Cloud Cake for this with a six millimeter hook, which is what the pattern called for. Raglan style. It is really darling. Um, I did the other modification I made is she wanted about six more inches of regular stitches and then a huge band. It would have been way too big for him. Even though I was doing the size six to eight, it would have been too big for him. So I had to stop a couple of inches short and do the band um, so that it would fit him. I mean, this is still going to be too big for him now, but he'll wear it for a while. And that's the point of all this, right? I love the feel of this yarn. It is soft. It is squishy. It'll, it'll make a really cute pullover for this spring, you know, throw it over a t-shirt to go outside and play. So that is done. Um, I going to make another one cause Charlotte wants one. Um, obviously I don't know what I'm going to do about the hood. The hood, it just, the, the pattern just didn't make sense to me. Um, it told you to, anyway, it didn't make sense to me. And probably half of it was I was tired, but anyway, it's done. It's ready to go. So I'm, I'm glad. And I love the way it came out. I think it looks like a little t-shirt or a little sweatshirt. It's perfect. I might do one more row of single crochet still. I think I might do that just to neaten up the edge, but I think it looks really cute even without the hood. So, uh, mystery bags. I have three mystery bags to share with you. Uh, the first one is from Adam at, uh, Crafty Wool UK. His, uh, mini skeins kind of club, cause you have to pay for it every month. You know, you physically go into Etsy and do it every month because the way Etsy's set up, you can't do a recurring thing, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I'll link Adam's, uh, cha uh, channel, which he does have a YouTube channel and his Etsy shop in the description box below. So I've got my little bag from the UK and it is, uh, vacuum sealed. So it's easier to ship. And I got my little note with this adorable sticker. Thanks, Adam. I love that. Um, these are platinum sack minis, 7525 superwash merino, 25 nylon, cool hand wash, lay flat to dry, approximately 85 meters, 20 gram minis. Ooh, yes, please. Look at these. Oh, Adam, I'm loving this. Ooh. 
Look at that one. I love this one, Adam. Look how pretty that one is. I love the greens and the orange with the blue. That one's really, really pretty. And then check out this. Bright yellow. Isn't that pretty? That's, that is some lemon yellow. That is some really beautiful lemon yellow. So those are what I got from Adam this month. And I think they really kind of go together well, don't you think? I could put those together in something. I think so. Thanks, Adam. And this is really nice squishy yarn. His base is really nice. So that is from Adam at Crafty Wool UK. Um, the other one comes from Judy, from Judy's Creations and Crochet. She was doing a de-stash. And I said to her, okay, here's what I'm going to send you money-wise. Send me whatever. You know, I... I I know her yarn is usually really nice. She knows what I like. Um, so I said, yeah, send me whatever you think I would like. So I don't know what she picked out for me. And I don't want to. And as of her last video last week, she still had some of her cakes available. I don't know where she stands. You might want to send her an email. Um, I'll list her channel below. So I got a nice little note. Oh, Judy, you didn't have to do that. She, she sent me her extra furls because my four and a half millimeter broke and she said she doesn't use that very often. And she had an extra one. So she sent me a four and a half millimeter furls. Judy, thank you so much. You want to hear a funny story? <laughs> I was going to save this till Friday, but I'm going to tell you a funny story. I needed a four and a half millimeter and I wanted a furl style. I wasn't going to pay for a furls. So I went to get the Omi hooks. So I ordered an Omi hook from um, Amazon. And I opened my brand new furls hook that came yesterday, or Omi hook, with a broken head. Seriously, the piece isn't even in here. I think this was somebody returned this one, and they just sent it back out. So now I have a broken one, but now I don't have a broken one, because Judy is so sweet. She sent me this furls. Thank you, Judy. My goodness. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep this in bubble wrap because I don't want it to break any more. And then she sent me, okay, these are the ball bands, I'm assuming. Oh, look at this from Expression Fiber Arts. Oh, that's that pretty. This is their calming cotton fingering, 50 cotton, 50 bamboo, 437 yards. It's called Tarnished Sky. I love that. Oh my God, Judy, you know me so well. Look at the blues and the greens with that little pop of rust in there. Oh, it's so pretty. And then two of the... Aren't those pretty? And I'm assuming this is what these are. These are from Knit Craig, Knit Crate, Audine Wools, Psy DK. The colorway is Leaf Eater, 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere. DK weight 320 yards, 100 grams. Hand wash only, lay flat to dry. Made exclusively for Knit Crate. Oh, you guys, look at this. Oh, 
This is so beautiful and so soft. I am in love with this beautiful minty color. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, thank you, Judy. Perfect. They work great for me. You know me. And I, I think this was an extra, but thank you very, very, very much. And thank you so much for my furls. I can't believe you did that. Thank you so much. So the last one I have, this big old bag here, this is a bag from the little yarn shop in South Daytona called Goucher. Um, I did the $10 mini bag, uh, mystery bag last week. Well, it was such a good deal. I sent off for another one. I got a $10 one and a $20 one. So let's see what's in here. I got, the shipping was fast. I mean, I ordered these, I think, on Saturday, and I got this yesterday. I don't remember, but it was fast. It was fast. Okay, so. Wow, okay. Here is the $20 one. Let's see what's in here. Sorry for all the crinkles, you guys. And she sent a page of samples and if you're interested there's a 10% off code so go check them out wow this is some really nice stuff okay so this is their sample page and in here again is a little bag full of little goodies what is this little thing with the scissors on it Maybe that's a shawl pin or something. It's kind of cute. And then some stitch markers and another uh, tape measure, which, you know, you can never have too many of those and a darning needle. So that is always very helpful. And now let's get on to the good stuff. So we have Mr. Juni, which is a 70 cotton, 30 acrylic blend. Oh, this is really soft. Machine washable, lay flat to dry, do not bleach, do not iron. Color is multi brown. It's a bulky number five, 100 grams, 160 yards. I got two of those. Those will make a really pretty hat, I think. Nice and soft. Interesting. It looks chain spun. I think that's what that is. I don't know if it'll focus. Pretty interesting. I like that. I like that. Then I got one, two, three of these Corin, which is a number three. 50 grams, 142 yards. Is this the cashmere one? Yep. 60% silk. 30% cashmere, 10% acrylic. It's the same as this, just a different color. Oh, I love this corally orange color. Isn't that gorgeous? And this yarn is so soft and so beautiful. Okay, so, so pretty. So pretty. And then last, oh wait, there's four of them in there. Oh, that's fabulous. And then the last in here is this one, which is their Mod Yarns. And this is a number three. Um, it is 43% polyester, 50, 37 acrylic, 342 yards, 100 grams. 
and no colorway, but it's a really interesting orangey brown. I like it. It's very earth tones. We'll put it that way, but I do like it. So that was the $20 bag. So it's sent in the $10 bag. Okay, we've got some of this thickish, which I got gray last time, but I love this soft turquoise. Okay, this is a number four machine wash, lay flat to dry. 3.3 um, ounces, 139 yards, 127 meters, 100% acrylic eight ply. Beautiful turquoise minty aqua color. Love, love that. Then I got some more of this mod, which is a number three, the polyester acrylic. That doesn't give you a color, but that is a really pretty purple. For all you purple people out there, you love this purple. It's really, really soft. Product of China packaged in the U.S., it says on here. But it doesn't say a color. And then two of these, which is bamboo 139, 70% bamboo, 30% cotton. It's a number two. Um, 50 grams, 101.75 ounces, but it doesn't say anything other than that. Super soft, really beautiful color love this teal color. Guys, that's a $10 bag. This was $10. This was worth $10. Absolutely. The other one was worth the $20. This is $10 worth. This is spam. Plus she sent another one of those little Probably got stitch markers and stuff in it, which is okay. Who can I can always come on, open up. Oh, a hot pink one this time. And the little bobbin holder. And then a bunch of stitch markers and another darning needle. So always use these. So that is what I got from Goucher, the yarn shop in South Daytona. I'm going to have to make a road trip to go over there and look at all the other things in her shop. Because if this is what she's sending in mystery bags, I'm dying to see what else she has in there. I'll take you along if I go. My plan was originally to go during uh, local yarn shop day, but I'm going to be in Indiana that weekend. So that won't be happening. And where I'm going in Indiana doesn't have a local yarn shop. So I won't even get to participate. I'm so sad. But anyway, I'll make a run over there. South Daytona is not that far from me. Um, probably take me an hour and a half maybe to get there to South Daytona. But it'll, I think it'll be worth it. Because if this is what she sends in the mystery box, her store has to be really cute. She is on Facebook. Go give her a look on Facebook. Um... There's the website and the code to get 10% off your order. Go in and give her a look around, see what she's got. I'm telling you, this silk cashmere, oh my God, it is so beautiful. It is, I, I'm dying to figure out what I'm going to make with it. I, I wish I could put, what did I do with it? Wouldn't those be pretty together? Though I don't know if I want to put cotton, bamboo, and silk together. Although I don't see why not. They're both number two. No, this one's a number three. This one's a number two. And I don't know, but I love that color combination, don't you? Anyway, um, so that is what I got in mystery bags um, and a finished object. So if today goes all as planned, you guys... Um, tomorrow's video 
we'll have a surprise guest. Tom has agreed to have me film him trying to teach him how to crochet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, it may be something unfit for viewing. I don't know how this is going to go. I've never tried to teach him how to do that kind of thing before. So we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys get back to your Wednesday. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, remember to take care of yourself and give yourself some grace. But above all, be kind to everyone, and we'll talk to you on Thursday. Have a great day.